Hello and welcome back. This will be a relatively short video on how you can increase the speed of you working inside of Houdini by creating your own custom shortcuts. So let me give you an example. For example, we create a geometry. Let's make a box. Uh, let's, for example, make a, I don't know, sphere, right? And now we can make a Boolean. So we Boolean the sphere out of the box and see what it gets us, right? So something like this. However, if you don't want to move spear here, but actually want to transform as whoops, as you should do, you would go into tab, press transform, press enter, then click it here, then enter, then move it here. So that becomes a little bit of a chore, especially if you just, for example, have a couple of these nodes and you need to really be fast with it so you don't have to go boolean then connect it like this uh, the most annoying part here is that you need to get transform here for example you, sh you always go into tab start typing transform and all that kind of stuff so how do we speed it up what we can do is actually go into this plus icon and create new shelf press accept you can name it whatever you want it doesn't really matter and now you can just get your transform, you can drag and drop it here, then right click and get into the edit tool. And you can actually get it a hotkey. And let's name it Shift T. And it says assign to show list move. I don't need this. So remove other, click apply, click accept. And now if I accept here, I press Shift T, you can see I have a transform. Same with a boolean. Let's create a boolean. So again, I'll drag and drop it here, right click, edit tool, get into the hotkeys, get into the network pane, edit, double click, shift B, accept, accept, and now I have a shift B boolean. So let's see how much time we can gain. For example, again, let's start with a box and start Oh, so we start with a sphere, right? Here it is. And now if I press just shift B, you'll see I have a Boolean. That's pretty cool. And now we, if I want to move a sphere, I just press shift T, press it here, and I have a transform. So now I can view my transform inside of my Boolean, all with the number of clicks. You can also create a uh, copy to points, for example, or copy transform. I usually use copy to points. You can drag and drop it here, add it to, make it something like control, shift, C, accept, accept, and now you have copy to points up and ready. So there you go. A couple of other things, of course, if you remember, you can hold down Y to make scissors. You can hold down J to make connections. And if you played some sort of real-time strategy like StarCraft or something like that, you would remember then you can create hotkeys using control and number keys. For example, if I go to materials, right, and I start creating some, for example, principal shader, doesn't really matter. So I press control two here, it's a quick mark. I control one here and here I make control three. So now if I press two, I'll get to my principal shader. One to the overview, three, I can jump into my network view. What's interesting is the, that you can create attribute VAP, go inside, press control four, for example, and now you can jump throughout your whole network, including attribute VAPs. So basically, no matter how deep you are into your network, you'll be free to actually jump inside and outside using this. So there you go. And finally, of course, if you remember, you can use those Pi menus, for example, for modeling. I can just now press, actually, I get to the poly modeling, right? So, for example, select for C, poly extrude, Q for repeating, Q for poly extrude, and there you go. So, so as you can see, you can work in Houdini relatively fast. And if you feel like you are up to the task, you can actually get your mouse cursor or the viewport, press control B and it will maximize this viewport. And of course, you now can start modeling to your heart's content, whatever you want. 
and uh, go from there. And you can go back by pressing Control B again. If you if you hold down your mouse over the network view, for example, you can go into Control B. As you can see, the parameter windows appears on itself on the right. You can actually enable this by hovering here and pressing P, you will see that we indeed have a contextual parameter view like that. I don't personally enjoy that because um, sometimes it's for me more controllable if I get into the attribute vobs, this thing just hovers here and it gets in the way, but it's definitely an option. You can collapse this view make it a little bit bigger, press P, and it will create a contextual parameter view. Also, if you feel like you are a little bit lost inside of your, you know, network view, you can press O, as in for network overview, and you will now see that there is like a minimap of the things that are going on inside of your Houdini network view. However, I would actually advise you, for example, to uh, create comments instead of doing it like that, because this is a much better way to organize your viewport other than, you know, pressing O. And I, honestly, I don't ever use O because it actually eats up the space from network view and it doesn't really help anyone because the, the, I don't think you can see anything. It's like, well, what's the point? But it's there. If you think you can find a point for it, there you go. So anyway, there is that. Oops. <laughs> Amazing stuff, yeah. Again, you can press C to change the color, and there you go. One, two, three, four, shift transform. Whoops, shift T for transforming, and you will see that we indeed have our geometry. So there you go. That's a number of things you can use to speed up your workflow inside of Houdini. Hopefully it was helpful. If you want to learn more, don't forget to subscribe if you like what you if you like the video, press the like button. If you have ideas, suggestions, don't hesitate to leave a comment. And hopefully you have a good day and see you later. Bye-bye.